Hello YouTube viewers, it's me again, Silver Tardis, and well, like last time I'm filming this in my kitchen, except it's got a different tablecloth. Yeah, um, yeah I know, uh, don't ask too many questions about that. And um, if you remember recently I made a video about the contestant robots for the series that I'll be making at some point. Well, I thought I'd just demonstrate the house robots. Yeah, I've made a few more competing robots for my series since about five more since I did the last video um, for my series there are going to be uh, 48 in total so I've got a long way to go before I actually make the series but in the meantime I thought I'd demonstrate the house robots with some of the contestant robots I made myself here so right all right first we, we won't really need to borrow really need to bother about RefBot too much because he's the judge, he's technically not a house robot, he doesn't really have a weapon anyway. So let's, ladies first, let's go with Matilda, shall we? Matilda, yeah, like with Exterminator and Panic Attack from my video, I made a mess with the paint as I have done with some of the house robots. Yeah, well I was little then. Yeah, so hydraulic tusks at the front, Matilda. And in her old day, she had a chainsaw, but I put on a flywheel. Yeah, that's what everyone seems to be doing nowadays. So let's get a robot to test, shall we? Make it a girl fight. We'll put Weird Alice here. Weird Alice, I've improved its flipper since since the um, when I last showed it. Let's see if Matilda can. Yeah, I put Weird Alice on the top, and over it goes. Now for the flywheel. Yep, yeah, that's reasonably well. It's staying in place, Matilda. Okay, now for Shunt. Shunt, at one point, was my favourite house robot. Yeah, um, two pieces of him are missing, so sorry about that. But, looks like he's been through the wards. He's more or less still in one piece. The axe still works, thank goodness. The annoying thing is that that spring sort of drive mechanism. But let's see his axe, let's see if it'll work on Tilly Evo. Like Weird Alice, I fixed Tilly Evo's flipper, so it's a lot more effective now. If you're wondering, yeah, that's Shunt, pepper potting the top of Tilly Evo. Very classic, and the Bulldozer of Wishes, very, very good as well. Now, let's put that back there. Okay, now, who can we use to test out with Jump a lot? I know, we'll have Dead Metal. So, dead metal, get, yep, yeah. hold on, let me just get, there we go, that's the pincers, and uh, let's get that battle saw into play, yeah, there we go, zizzing away at the back of Chompalot, yeah, good enough, good enough to test the dead metal, dead metal, um, you're going to see a bit more mayhem in this, because his shell comes off from time to time, as does if, hold on a minute. It just yeah, his head comes off from time to time as well, so that should make the series a little bit more interesting. Whoops! <laughs> oh god, dead metal's naked. Put that right. Sorry about the delay, but not all robots are perfect. This is getting ridiculous. Damn it. Let's see if I can get that. There. Okay, now for Sergeant Bash. This is one of my favourite house robots, obviously. Well, they're all my favourites, but Sergeant Bash looks awesome. Unfortunately, you're going to be a bit disappointed because I won't really be able to add an effect or do the flamethrower. Sorry about that. And sorry there's a bit of a mess on the front. Yeah, but he's still in one piece, thankfully. His pincer works very well. And, yeah, if, I don't know if you noticed, but during the past years, Sergeant Bash has actually had a rear disc as well. So, let's see if we can test on Crusader, shall we? Yeah, Crusader, I thought I'd choose it for this because... Hold on. Let me just get his claw in there. There you are, sunk out of sight. Now you can just toy with them. That's for the disc as well. 
good. And a flamethrower. Hands up. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. So get Crusader out of the way. Alright, next one. A dog who always has his day, it's Growler. Okay, let's see. We'll put it a test with White Knight, shall we? Let's put a flipper of White Knight in Growler's jaws. Yep. Good boy. Sorry, I'm just making all these puns. But, hey, that's making the video a bit more interesting. Okay, now for the biggest house robot of them all, it's Mr. Psycho. Sorry about Mr. Psycho's claw, because... My sister broke it off. Yes, I know, she can be annoying. But, the spring broke out, so I can move the claw a bit better now. Let's see, who can I get to test it? Ah, Envy. We haven't tested Envy yet. So, well, let me just get the claw around there. And up it goes. And back down to where? Flip side. Now let's try the hammer. Very good. Put it there. Now for the kill lot, last but not least. Now, like I said with Den Metal, you're going to be <laughs> a bit amused by this. Because kill lot sometimes goes a bit naked when I'm doing it in battle. Yeah, the shell comes off. Yeah, the lance. I prefer the lance to the hammer, basically. Otherwise, he's just the original Mr. Psycho. And there's the claw of kill lot as well. Let's see if it will work. Yeah. So let's see if it can just latch on something. We'll put Chompalot on the end of the drill. Okay. Huh. A knight slaying a dragon. How old fashioned. And kill a lot. Let's see if we can test the claw. Who better to test with it than Crusader? There we are, up goes Crusader. Now, let's see for a bit. Hold on. Oh yeah, I just forgot to mention something earlier. Atomic, I forgot to test them with a house robot. Um, I've improved their flipper again because... Like I said with Tilly Evo and Weird Alice, their flippers aren't uh, precise. So, I've upgraded Atomic with an extra blade on its front flipper. So, let's see if it will just try and see if it can flip kill a lot. There we go. And what did I tell you? <laughs> Naked as a piece of string. So, there we are. There you have it. The house robots. Tested with some of the robots I showed you from last time. They've improved quite a bit. Or well, some of them have. So, this is Silver Tardis and goodbye.